Hello friends, uh, you're welcome to this edition of Timely Word with Tayo Ladejo. It's my joy bringing the Word of God to you and to your family, to your loved ones. And I pray that the Holy Spirit of God will surely speak to your heart and bring transformation and change in Jesus' name. This is the 10th episode of Timely Word. And today, uh, the focus is going to be, as a matter of fact, we're beginning a new series, which will be Intimacy with God series. So today is going to be Intimacy with God part one, and the subtitle will be Accurate Lifestyle. Please do turn your Bible with me if you have one there, and if not, just listen to me as I read. So the book of Genesis chapter four, the very book of the beginning. The Bible says, Genesis chapter four, verse one. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Adam knew Eve, his wife. The word new here is taken from the root word, that's in Hebrew, yada, which means to have intimacy, which means to have intercourse that leads to childbearing that leads actually the word yada directly means intimacy that leads to seed bringing forth seed so then turn with me again another scripture that we're going to focus on is in matthew chapter 5 matthew 5 verse 6 matthew 5 verse 6 the bible says blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. I want you to realize and be reminded of the fact that Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is not a religion. There are many, many religions in the world. It's not a religious experience. Instead, it is God's prescribed lifestyle for mankind. Christianity is God's prescribed lifestyle for mankind. Christianity is about working with God. Christianity is about fostering accurate lifestyle. Accurate, and that's the will of God. That righteousness becomes a function of our lifestyle. And the only way we can, you know, bring, we can foster accurate lifestyle is by having intimacy with the Lord. You see, Christianity is not about observing a certain religious rituals. Neither is it about keeping a certain set, a set of codes. Christianity is not about keeping a set of moral codes. Christianity is about knowing God. It's about working with God. It's about developing and fostering intimacy with God. And that is the will of God for you. That is the will of God for me. Christianity is about knowing God. It's about fostering intimacy with God. And you must bear this in mind. It is impossible to foster intimacy with God without spiritual hunger. We must, we must cultivate spiritual hunger. We are people who are alive in the spirit as God's children. And because we are alive in the spirit, our heart can pant after God. As a matter of fact, anything that ceases from growing is already dead. Death is a process. And because you are life in the spirit, you are raised from death to life, you have the capability of desiring God, of knowing God and working with God and longing for more of Him. It is when there is a desire, there is spiritual hunger and craving for more of God, that is when the Holy Spirit will be revealed to us that we may have intimacy with the Lord. Intimacy with God does not happen without, the, without a cry in our heart, without hunger and thirst after righteousness. It is only then the Lord will reveal himself to us. It is only then the Lord will count us worthy and privileged to have intimacy experience with him. When there is intimacy with the Lord, the seed of God, the divine seed of God, is inseminated in us, is transferred to us, is implanted in our spirit so that we can bring forth 
the image of Christ. The essence of intimacy with the Lord is to replicate Christ's person in the earth. And I pray for you that the seed of God be implanted in your soul, the seed of God be implanted in your inner man, that you will not bring forth the image of Adam, the fallen man. Instead, you will bring forth the image of Christ. When you, as we bring forth the image of Christ, we can operate in the authority of the kingdom and bring impact to our world. God bless you. In Jesus' name.